Hello, Mobility family. We've got a great whiteboard lesson today on why do we lose range of motion? Because we're told all the time, you just lose range of motion as you age. This is a myth, it is not true. Do not listen to it for your own personal health. It is in your best interest to understand why do we actually lose range of motion and why is it a fallacy that it is because of age. So we're gonna be using a great visual to really get into the why behind this. But the most important thing to know is if you don't use it, you lose it. Which means if you are using your range of motion for all the way up into your 80s, 90s, whatever, you actually get to keep it. So it's not because of age that is decreasing your range of motion. Rather, it is how you are moving as you age. So science has now proven that if we maintain our range of motion, if we use it, if we strength train, if we do mobility training throughout our lives, then we actually can retain a shocking amount of range of motion into our 70s, 80s, 90s. If you are using it, your body goes, oh, this is important. I need to maintain this and you get to keep it. So let's talk about how this works. This big circle here with the dot in the middle, this is gonna represent our entire range of motion in one joint. Let's say it's our shoulder. Let's say this circle represents how far can we go into external rotation? How far can we go into internal rotation? That is my entire range of motion in my shoulder. Now, when I am moving my shoulder through its entire range of motion, I have all these different tissue lines that are in use. So say I'm at my extreme end of external rotation, then maybe I'm using these tissue lines through here. But when I'm at my extreme end of internal rotation, maybe I'm using these tissue lines through here. So you can see that depending on where you're using in your range, the lines of tissue that you are working are actually going to change. So why is this important? Say that I'm somebody that just doesn't go into this range. I've had no reason to go into my internal rotation. So now I have this like big chunk of tissues that I just never touch. All of this stuff in here, I just never go into that range. So this tissue just never gets worked. What that means is this red spot that we have carved out, that tissue that never gets worked, it's gonna atrophy. That means it's gonna get weak and it's gonna get unhealthy. So we've all heard motion is lotion, right? And when we move our joints, that is how we bring blood flow, nutrients, all that sort of stuff into our tissue. So if we have this whole range of tissue that we're just not really going into, we're just not really using that part of our shoulder, this tissue actually starts to become unhealthy and the body goes, oh, I guess it's not important. We don't need to upkeep it. He or she's just not using it. And then what happens is this tissue forgets how to do its job. It no longer knows. You no longer even knows how to work, how to activate, how to do its job. And that is how we lose range of motion. So maybe instead of getting all the way down here and using this stuff, maybe we can only get to like here. And then all of a sudden we have this big space of tissue that doesn't, we don't even have access to it. We can't use it because we haven't taught the body how to use it. And that is how we get weaker. And that is how we lose range of motion by not using our full range of tissue every single day. Now, the unfortunate part about this is that can spread. As this tissue becomes more and more unhealthy, that wants to spread outwards. And the tissue of this direction, away from it, that wants to become more unhealthy as well. Because the body's smart, right? The body loves to conserve energy. The body's an energy conserving machine. So when we start to get tissue that's not super healthy, it can start to want to spread outwards and make this tissue out here unhealthy as well and ever so slowly move in that direction. 
So what is the answer to this? Use your full ranges of motion every single day. This is where cars come in or controlled articular rotations. If you've ever done any of my courses, you have done cars. We do them so much because they are the best thing that you can do for bringing your joints through its full range of motion every single day. And that simply becomes maintenance by just doing some rounds of cars, some movement in all ranges of motion every single day, it becomes maintenance and you will get to keep your range. Now, if you have already lost your range, cars are not just maintenance, but we actually need to increase your range, right? So if you have your range now, beautiful. Maintain it, use it. If you have lost range of motion, this is where we need to do our mobility training and get that range of motion back so that we can circle back around and maintain the range over time so that when you're in your older age, you will be able to still use it, you will feel good, you will feel better, buttery smooth, and be able to do all the activities that you still enjoy. So that is why we lose our range of motion. It is not because of your numerical age, but because of how you are moving. I hope that this helps prove that point to you. Let me know if you have any questions, comment on this video, send me an email, send me a DM on Instagram. And if you are somebody that wants to learn how to maintain your range of motion or how to get more range of motion, give me a shout and we will have that conversation about how to make that happen for your unique body.